Hello, sir. Good morning, Onyx. Which one will you choose? Nice. Dude, that was freaking fast. You swallowed that thing down in a second. Holy crap. Good afternoon or good evening or whatever the heck it is when you're watching this. Good day to ya. So before we get into this video real quick, I wanna go over just a couple of things. Number one, make sure you like and comment on this video. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you're not subscribed, a lot of you that watch this, 63% uh, of you that watch regularly are not subscribed. Go hit that subscribe button. Pretty please get those numbers up. I wanna go over something really quick because it's been driving me crazy. Comment down below if you have experienced this, but a lot of pages have been getting hit with these Telegram spam people. And they're reaching out to people, telling them that they are winning prizes from us. They're using our names and trying to make it look like they're us talking to people. That is not the case. They're spamming everybody's pages and they're telling you to send the money, which is stupid. And a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people are falling for it and they're getting scammed and they're getting robbed pretty much. So I really would like you guys to go to YouTube support and go file a complaint against all these Telegram people. And maybe there's a way that YouTube can just block that whole app as a, as a whole. You know what I mean? So nobody on Telegram can even comment on YouTube because it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's only coming from Telegram. If you get a comment from me, it will say my name and have a check mark by it. That is it. If it does not, if it has a weird one at the end or it's it, anything else is not me. So please do not fall for that. Don't give anyone your money. If you ever win anything on this page or anything like that, or if I'm doing a giveaway or anything like that, I'm never gonna ask you for money, okay? We just give things away. We send it to you for free. This is how it is, okay? I'm never gonna tell you to send me shipping money first and all, it's just, it's so stupid. So comment down below if you've experienced this before. It's been happening a lot lately, especially, and even on this video. So if it happens on this video, Block them, report them, tell YouTube that they need to make this go away because it's really, really frustrating. And I'm sure it's frustrating for people that comment on things because you're just getting replies back from people that aren't who you really want to talk to. Do me a favor, help me help you guys. All right, we got a lot of feeding to do. Uh, my friends Chris and Gabby over from Wa Florida's Wildest. I'll put the link and everything down below. You guys can go check them out. But they gave me a bunch of produce yesterday. Donated a bunch of it. So we are going to feed the tortoises. I got all sorts of rats thawing out in the sink inside. I even have a snake thawing out right now. Because we have to go to Chandler's house today. And that's where most of this video is going to take place. But first, I'm going to run around the property. We're going to feed everything here. And it's the first time we're going to be bringing the baby over to Uncle Chandler's house. And it was just Chandler's birthday, what, three days ago, two days ago? So if you didn't go say happy birthday to Chandler, go say happy birthday to him, please. All right, so first on the list is our Aldabras. There you go, guys. Look how dinosauric that is. You guys haven't heard that word in a while. But how cool is that? Even the female, she's all postured upwards, just walking around like a dinosaur. Here you go, guys, check this out. Woo, all sorts of food today. Look at that. Oh yeah, go to town, baby girl. All the good stuff today. We got grapes, we got eggplant, tomatoes, romaine, tortoise chowers, a little squash over there, peppers, delicious. Heck yeah. We got Drogo and Khaleesi. Drogo, hello, dude. Khalise. Hey, mommy. How are you? All right, so I'm just gonna grab these bowls and get them fed. The little areca palm is still alive. That's cool. Here you go, guys. Come on, come eat some food. Yum. Got some lettuce, tortoise chow, bananas, grapes, and their favorite, some blueberries. Actually, their favorite is probably bananas. All right, so let's go feed the birds real quick. Now time for, to feed the birds. Come on, give me a kiss. Hello, Chloe. 
Hello, Chloe. Want to say hi to everybody? Say hi. Hello. Today we got some blueberries and some grapes. I normally don't give them fruit, but today they're getting fruit. And then they got a mix of... So this is Missouri Parrot Diet, Harrison's Parrot Diet, and Topps Parrot Diet all together because your boy is running a little low today. There you go, my love. Hey, dude. Stop trying to bite me all the time. You little jerk. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello, my love. You're so pretty. The gators are doing good. I gotta feed these guys today, too. The building. Slowly but surely, this thing is gonna come together. We got a lot to do. Totally forgot to mention in the previous video, this building, Paul Cuffero, uh recommended me this guy, Raymond, who makes these buildings, it's his company. So that's who I got the, uh, the referral from. And uh, he also hooked me up with Hector. Hector that builds all Paul's stuff. Hopefully we'll be coming out here soon to help me out with a lot. I gotta, you know, I gotta build the build out inside. I wanna do a whole patio out front. He just did that new, uh, that Amazon corner for Paul's warehouse. It's super dope. So I wanna do a nice big patio overhang thing with some stairs on the outside of it and make it look really nice. Oh, look at all this wood, man. Bunny. A bunny? Is yeah, that a bunny? There. I don't know. Oh, Is there a bunny? There's over there. Huh. All right, we gotta make a stop at the feed place and get some wood for Remington, our cow, that we gotta start building this gate for soon. And I got the girls with me today. I'm going to Chandler's house, Uncle Chandler's. You ready, baby? Oh my gosh, first trip to Chandler's. First trip to Chandler's. All right, let's, uh, let's park and see what these people got over here. Though. Oh, Uncle Chandler's. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready, my sleepy princess? Okay, we got a Burmese Python Cinnabon right here. Gotta feed Rusty. Hello, Bagoy. How are you, sir? We gotta feed Rusty Python. It's probably been about a month since Rusty's gotten a meal. Hatch the volunteer. Hey, you're hey, Andrew, hey. you're Andrew also? No, 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 his name's not Andrew. Take vinegar. It's uh, not? He's wanted, don't film him. All right, so Jonas feeding the baby and staying outside in the truck. Just so you guys know, before I get any Karens on this video, my daughter is not gonna be in this snake room with any venomous snakes out of their cages. Everything is still in the cage, and the cage that they just had open is a boa. All right, here we go. Batman, with your food, dude. Can I, uh, no, wait, no, 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 I'm too, I'm, these, these tongs that I have are really, really short. That is not, look, look. Uh, no. So you're gonna use my tongs in front of them too? Bro, that's like the only time that he strikes at you. It's crazy. The food is right there, bro. Eat it. All right, now let's put the one back here for Miss Robin. Robin, let's go put you back here. Normally I like to separate these guys, but uh, we're gonna feed them in the cage together. Don't you, don't mess with me, Chandler. What? Why are you bro, touching my butt while I'm doing butt, doing bro. dangerous, snake. What are you doing? while I'm doing dangerous things over Pay here, bro. Be a good Listen, shut up. Put you back in the cage, Batman. There you go. Hey, you got your mail. She has got her mail. Chandler, enough. Good snake. What kind of cobra is that? Oh, uh, this uh, lavender. <laughs> you got two rats down there. Normally, I do not like to feed my rattlesnakes together, but Chandler's cleaning some cages right now too, and he's using some other holding receptacles. And uh, I really got no choice. I got to feed my snakes and I can't really separate them at the moment because we don't have anything big enough. So I'm just going to keep a very careful eye on them. I got rats on either side of the enclosure. So that way, hopefully they just find their own rat. Robin has already found hers and she's about to start eating it. So hopefully Batman right here, he finds his and starts eating his own, which I'm going to help him find right now, actually. But now we're going to feed Rusty. Like I said, it's been probably over a month since Rusty has had a meal because he was in shed for a while and then I just brought him here. I think he's only had one meal here at Chandler so far. So this is a decent size Burmese python. We're looking at, what, I'm five, this is probably like a five foot snake right here. So let's get my boy out here. Hey, excuse me. Hello, sir. Hey, Rusty. How are you doing? See that? Eat that. Eat your food, sir. There he goes, right there. And just give it a smell. A little smell and a little taste. Come on, grab it, dude. There we go, almost. All right, let's try to get a better shot of this. Here you go, dude. Look. Smell. Give it a smell. 
smelly smell. Goes. There he goes. All right. Just gotta be patient. Nice and patient. There he goes. Beautiful. Hell yeah. So awesome. I love it when he eats when he's supposed to. So now that he already grabbed it, he knows that he's in there and he's definitely hungry. So I'm just gonna let him do his thing while I feed off the rest of these rats I got over here. It's always hard starting to feed your snakes again after that cold spell. You know, we just had several weeks of really cold temperature down here in South Florida. Obviously it's not as cold as it gets everywhere else in the country. I know you don't need to spare me the comments telling me how cold it is down where you are or up where you are rather. But uh, yeah, man, once everything starts to cool down, especially the hognose snakes at the house, they think it's like going into brumation, even though everything is still on heat and everything. The ambient temperature is still a little bit cool. They don't eat as much during the winter. So snakes sense the cooler temperatures. They stop eating for a while. It's pain. It can be a pain in the butt to get them to start eating again. But I'm just gonna stand over here, give these guys some distance. Shatid is going crazy. Batman's still looking for his rat. Rusty's getting situated on that snake. So I'm just gonna go around and feed the other snakes that aren't in this area over here. So we got some smaller guys to feed right now. This is my blue Insularis that I have over here. Can't wait to get these guys set up at the new facility and back in nice, big bioactive cages. I mean, even though he's got a pretty cool little setup in here, still, this does not even compare to what he was set up in at the house. So I can't wait to get them back home and set up properly. Now I was out of small rats. I got to put an order in at the house. So everybody, I brought a bunch of these little, like they're large mice. So for these guys that normally get small rats, I'm just going to take a couple mice and I'm going to give them a couple things here. Pearl, would you just, shoot, what a lunatic. She is crazy. Total opposite of Kilo. We got my Gila monsters and my beaded lizards over here also. So we'll go ahead, give them a mouse each. So give each of you a nice mouse. There you go. Got these crazy rattlesnakes. My lunatic albino. That was a good shot. There you go. There you go, sir. Enjoy your meal. Do not try to bite me or strike at me, please. Thank you. There we go. That's what I like to see. Look how perfect that is. We got Batman on his rat and Robin still on hers. Eating together just fine. It's always dangerous feeding snakes together, especially you guys know what happened last time. I wasn't careful last time. Remember I got them too riled up. Robin got bit on the head. That was not fun at all, but everything's eating. Shatid is getting her first rat down. Rusty's already down in that snake. And then Batman and Robin are eating their own thing. The only thing that hasn't really eaten is Kilo for some weird reason. And then old man over here, little blind boy, he's got a rat in there too. He hasn't really found it yet, but he will in a second. He's searching around his cage looking for it right now. But his, the lumps on him are just getting worse and worse. You see that? Every time I come over here, he's just more bumpy and bumpy. Just absolutely cancer ridden and fat tissue deposits and just all sorts of weird stuff that comes along with just being a super old snake. And I was just talking to Chandler about it too. Chandler was asking how old that snake actually is. And I think that snake is pushing about 25 years old, which is crazy because that is literally, that's right on the cusp of how long that snake is going to live for. So unfortunately, especially seeing the cataracts in that snake's eyes and just everything else going on with it, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I am going to have that snake here much longer. Because every time I come here, it's just getting worse and worse. Same thing with my little Gila monster. My old man Gila, he's looking rough. Super, super skinny. And I gotta force feed him every time. And even when I force feed him, he doesn't keep down his meals really anymore. He regurgitates them literally like the next day or two. It's just it's sad. Part of the thing about owning animals, you know, they get older and they die eventually. Not everything lives for forever. Even that, that Anilifera that I just showed you, that my old man snake, man, I've had that snake. Me personally, I've had that snake for probably 15 years. And it was, it was like a 10 year old snake when I got him. So ah, just a bummer. Bummer of keeping things is you lose things. It's just part of the game. Hopefully successfully feed a bunch of these babies I have over here. So there's four baby spitting cobras left. Unfortunately, a lot of them passed away. A lot of them weren't eating. Some of them we had to force feed and even the ones that we force feed eventually just got very weak and they unfortunately died. So out of the 11 baby spitting cobras that have hatched, 
I haven't been able to been around as much as I can. Baby cobras are really, really hard to get to eat and keep alive. And unfortunately, we lost a whole bunch of them during my move and just everything that's going on right now. Four that are left, we're gonna try to feed them right now. See if anybody wants to take down some pinkies. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got a bite. So hopefully I'm just gonna leave that pinky in there. And these guys are eating. So I don't really have to worry too much about that. As long as these guys bite a hold of them and show me an interest in eating, they will smell them out later and they will eat off camera. They're a little bit shy still. These guys are biting. I don't know if they're spitting yet. They're still a little bit small. They're definitely able to, but they're just a little bit more seldom to spit than the adults are. Even my adults don't spit a whole lot, the black and white spitters. But uh, the defensive babies and the defensive juveniles can definitely get a little bit crazy. But these guys are still pretty good. So I'm just going to leave a bunch of pinkies in here. And hopefully all four of these guys eat them. I also ordered online. Company Reptilinks is where I get a bunch of uh, the, the Reptilinks for the Eastern Hognose Snake that I have. And they also sell all sorts of scenting juices. And so I ordered a frog juice and I ordered a lizard juice for all of my smaller animals and newborn stuff that's really finicky eaters. Like I still have that yellow tail Kribo at home that is only eating scented things. I literally have to go catch it in all every single time, rub a pinky all over it. And that's the only way that thing is gonna eat. I got the frog scent for all my little tiny vipers. They all look super great and nice and healthy. You don't really have to feed them for like a week or two after they hatch out of there. You don't have to feed them like a week or so after they are born, because when they're born, they're still soaking up all that fluid from inside their mothers, and that pretty much gets them going the first week of life, and then they start eating. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have another fuzzy down here also. This is the little black and white spitting cobra that Chandler just got. Even this little cobra right here on top is already starting to pound down that fuzzy which is great oh and then look at this that's really cool i'll leave this a surprise for when you guys watch chandler's videos but chandler's got some snakes laying eggs look at that beautiful everybody over here is doing great both of these guys have already eaten their meals you can see robin right there she just finished and so did batman both of them got huge meals in today that is awesome big jumbo rats that i got look at mr russ over here he's already halfway done with that python doing great sir oh look at that he's like thank you dad thank you for the snake shatid had two rats in here i don't see any more so maybe she ate both of them already not sure kilo Dude, your rat is over there. I hope this guy eats. He's been a really finicky eater since he's been over here as well. That's just the thing with snakes. I'm sure a lot of you keepers know the same struggles. Every time you move a cage around or reorganize things or put even, even putting one new thing into a snake cage sometimes just throws off the whole balance. They go into these, they have these little fits where they just don't eat. So environment change is very stressful for some of these animals. And unfortunately, it's a pain in the butt to get them to eat again. So if Kilo does not eat this time, next time I come here, what always helps him is if I scent it with chicks. So either I'm going to feed him a couple chicks because it's been a while since he's had one just so he gets a meal in or I can uh, scent them, just thaw them out in the same sink, or even put chicken broth. Chicken broth has worked great for him in the past. I just get a, I just literally heat up some chicken broth, pour it on the rat, and he will eat it right away. Make sure it's unsalted, obviously, but that is also a very good trick for getting your lapids to eat that are just gonna be finicky and a pain in the butt. And that is it, guys. No Chandler here today, wasn't much fun. Chandler was only here for like five minutes and then he had to run to Home Depot and do some stuff. He's in the middle, he's, he's taking care of his own things. There's a lot of things to take care of here. And Chandler's been kind enough to let me keep my snakes here for the time being until I get all approved and everything with FWC. I gotta obviously work on my building and get all that finished, but we're getting there, guys. Slowly but surely, things are happening. And I can't wait to get all my snakes home. And like, there's a lot of animals in this room right now. Because almost half, probably no. Chandler probably still has more venomous stuff. But still, there's a lot of things in here that are mine that he's been taking care of. And I really appreciate it. So Chandler, thank you so much. I love you, bro. You're, you're a true friend. So until next time, guys. Stay tuned 
Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. A lot of things were out of stock. I'm working on it. I got to redo a lot of the website. It's just, it's an absolute pain in the butt, and I hate doing computer stuff. But I'm working on it, guys, okay? So all the stuff that is out of stock right now, hopefully we'll be back in stock soon. and More things will be available. I'm working on more kids' clothes. I'm working on some infant stuff so I can get Ryder some Sunshine State tattoo gear. It'll be freaking super cool. All right? So appreciate y'all watching. Love you. Later. God bless.